Hi there guys, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I created my mineral moon image. So this is an image in RGB where we bring out some of the colors of the surface of the moon. Um, so you don't see these with your eye, um, you see more of a kind of tones of gray, but there are some um, slightly other shades there um, reflected based on the mineral deposits that are on the surface of the moon, which is why this is called a mineral moonshot. So the things that are more kind of brownish are the iron um, ore deposits going towards blue, which would be kind of titanium and other uh, minerals. So let's um, jump right into this by opening up our raw image, which would be here. So first thing, um, apologies, I am shooting this through a one-shot color astro camera that I usually use for nebulae. So our image data isn't the best. Um, but anyway, we'll crop this down. And now we're going to um, sort out the color. So you see it's got this green color to it. Well, that's because of the Bayer pattern, which is there's double the number of green pixels. Then there are blue and red on the camera. Um, so we're going to go to channel extraction. We'll extract each one of the individual channels, the RGBs, into separate layers. And then we will go to uh, image inspection and statistics, choose our original image and we look at the median and we look at the one with the lowest value which is G. So the G is what we are going to use for our um, calibration. Or we can go with the mean and we can look at the lowest one which would be the um, B. So if we went with the B, we're going to get quite a dark image. If we go with the G, we get a quite bright image and the R is somewhere in between. You see there, so um, if we go with the B though, it's going to be really quite dark. So I'm going to, I think, go with the G here. This is going to be our cal calibration, yeah? So um, we'll minimize the G and we're going to go to linear fit. We choose the G as our reference and we'll apply it to these two. Now we're going to recombine those channels, channel combination. We're going to combine the R G and the B into one. Okay, now we can get rid of these individual channels. We don't need those anymore. We don't need our original. And we don't need the, okay. So now we've got this, I'm going to first do some sharpening. So I'm gonna to go to Blur Exterminator, which is usually used for sharpening stars in my astro images, but it does actually help with the lunar surface. You can see here a before and after. Um, and okay, now we'll open up our curves transformation, a preview of that. We're gonna boost the saturation a little. And I'm also gonna boost the R G and the B a little. Okay, so we'll apply that. We'll reset. This time we'll just increase saturation only. And you can see now we're starting to get some color coming out. Now we're gonna go that far. So that's as far as I'm going to go here in PixInsight, okay? Um, so that's already started to bring out some of that detail, you see? Some of the coloration is already there. Um, now, I do want to sharpen maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to go um, 
Actually, I'm going to do it later, I think. I'm going to do the, the, sharp, the, the further sharpening later. Um, yeah, so I'm going to save this. 16-bit TIFF. And I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. Okay, so this is now our image in Photoshop. I'm going to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to create a folder. Put that in there. So this just allows me to quickly and easily make changes and, and, and see uh, how far we are from the original, okay? Um, so now in here, I'm going to go first to an adjustments layer. I'm going to make a curves adjustment in here. So under the RGB to start with, which will just brighten things a little. I also want to increase the contrast. So I'm going to bring down the bottom. So kind of a S curve transformation there. I want to bring out maybe a little bit on the reds. Not too much. Little bit there on the greens. A little bit on the blue. So it's quite delicate. Very small adjustments we're making here. Okay, but you can see now we're bringing out those colors. Um, so now I'm going to have a hue and saturation. We can adjust the reds and how saturated they are. The greens, we don't have many greens in there. Let's check out the magentas. So that makes a little difference. And the blues, I want to shift those a little bit more towards the blue. Same with the cyans. Now, you'll see we've got uh, this kind of pink fringing happening around the edge here. Um, so that's chromatic aberration. That's a fault of the optics, um, usually. And um, so, we're going to try and sort that out. I'm going to stamp this layer. So that's um, Shift, Command, Option, and E on a Mac. And we'll go to Filters. And I'm going to go to Lens Correction. We'll zoom in. So you see this pinkish color around there? That's what we're going to try and get rid of. So we can bring that back, that shifts it more towards the green. We don't want it to be too green. We don't want the yellow color either, so we'll bring that back there. Now there is a really nice tool actually in um, another um, software. Um, which actually removes this kind of thing. So I might just show you that at the end. Um, so, okay, uh, now I'm gonna go into um, camera raw filter. I'm gonna apply some sharpening. So we're gonna increase the texture a little, increase the clarity. Sharpening. And then we can adjust our color grading here. We've also got a curves editor, but I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, we'll increase the vibrance and saturation a little. Okay. Okay, now I'm happy with that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this my original PSD file. 
Uh, oh, uh, one other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to change this to 120 pixels resolution. Okay, and then I'm going to export as a JPEG file. Why not? I'll put it in here. I'll call this edit number four. Okay, now um, I mentioned there is another software that we can use um, to help us just got it affinity photo so this has some tools built into it um, which we can find useful so you'll have to pardon me I'm not super familiar with this I just took a look at it for precisely this problem so you see the chromatic aberration around the edge there um, there is go defringe and chromatic aberration so the chromatic aberration helps a little bit but what we really want to do is use that tool in here called defringe and this will help us get rid of that pinkish edge. There. Now we got rid of that pink edge that was there before, you see? So that's a really nice feature of this software, um, which uh, there probably is a way of doing this in Photoshop. I wasn't aware of it. But um, here in Affinity Photo, they have this really nice tool for getting rid of that. So now this is done, I will save this and we are done, basically. Um, so that's how I made my mineral moon image. I hope you found this tutorial useful and um, I hope to see you in my next video tutorial here on um, astrophotography.